Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, BFS hosting Electric Aircraft Symposium in Oshkosh, FAA's MedExpress upgraded with critical info and pilot guidance, Regions Ground Effect Aircraft looks forward to summer of testing. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. VFS hosting Electric Aircraft Symposium in Oshkosh. The Vertical Flight Society announced that dozens of the world's electric aircraft developers and tech experts will be presenting at the 19th Annual Electric Aircraft Symposium in Oshkosh, Wisconsin on July 19th through 20th, just prior to EAA AirVenture. More than 35 experts will participate in this year's EAS in 12 in-depth moderated discussions that will cover the full range of topics across the entire advanced air mobility industry. Well known for their technical deep dives and collaborative environment, BFS events provide attendees with in-depth insights and information in this rapidly growing, cutting-edge segment of aviation. Topics will include innovative concepts like personal and commercial electric vertical, short and conventional takeoff and landing aircraft, pilot training requirements, commercial air taxis, electric training aircraft, and regional air mobility. Propulsion systems such as battery electric, hybrid electric, and hydrogen electric vehicles will also be presented, along with aircraft certification, first responder missions, flight testing, standards development, infrastructure design, construction and integration, and uncrewed applications. The Electric Aircraft Symposium is the world's longest-running meeting for electric aviation technology. It was first held in the San Francisco Bay and Silicon Valley areas beginning in 2007 and transitioned to Oshkosh in 2017. After the break, PMHC applauds approval of Aviation Mental Health Bill. currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. PMHC applauds approval of Aviation Mental Health Bill. The pilot mental health campaign applauded the approval of the Mental Health and Aviation Act in a bipartisan vote in the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, advancing the bill to the House floor for consideration, where passage requires a simple majority vote. The bill had four original sponsors, which included Representative Sean Caston, Pete Stauber, Tracy Mann, and committee ranking member Rick Larson. The chair of the committee is Representative Sam Graves. PMHC said the legislation garnered 18 additional co-sponsors by the time it was introduced in committee. Jet Zero taps North Carolina to host first U.S. factory. Jet Zero has formally selected Greensboro, North Carolina as the site for its first U.S. factory. This will be used to manufacture the company's all-wing aircraft, the Z-4. The Z-4 was specifically designed to cut fuel consumption using a low-drag and lightweight airframe that claims to be 50% more efficient than conventional airliners. This allows it to offer a 5,000 nautical mile range and accommodate 250 passengers. The Air Force awarded it a $235 million contract in 2023 to fast-track the development of a full-scale Z-4 demonstrator. Astronautics selected for Radia Windrunner Avionics Astronautics Corporation of America announced the signing of an agreement with Radia to design and develop a complete avionics system solution for the Radia Windrunner cargo aircraft. The Windrunner is the largest aircraft by volume ever built and is designed for large-scale logistics in locales with limited infrastructure. The Windrunner is still under development and will measure 356 feet from nose to end with a cargo bay capacity of 271,922 cubic feet. The Windrunner has 12 times the cargo volume of a Boeing 787. Iowa Lakes Aviation Program surpasses 300 FAA check rides. 
Iowa Lakes Community College's Aviation and Airport Management Program has reached a key milestone, completing its 300th FAA check ride since a program reorganization in January 2020. The check ride was completed on May 27, 2025 by now CFI Andrew Barbie of Dubuque, Iowa. The program offers training towards a full range of FAA pilot certifications, including private pilot, instrument rating, commercial pilot, multi-engine rating, CFI, and specialized instructor ratings. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. FAA's MedExpress upgraded with critical info and pilot guidance. The FAA's MedExpress website has been updated to assist pilots getting ready for the next visit with their AME, or Aviation Medical Examiner, to renew their medical certificate. A comprehensive Note Before You Go document walks applicants through the steps necessary to prepare for the AME exam. This includes gathering medical records that must be submitted, as well as any guidance on post-exam procedures that might be necessary. There are clear instructions on how to use the system, including a tab for FAQs. The landing page contains a variety of educational resources and info on FAA requirements pertaining to a wide range of common medical conditions. There are descriptive tables showing how the FAA and AME may address many conditions and also provide AME's guidance for submitting required information and exam results within the required 14-day time frame. The FAA anticipates further improvements to the MedExpress website and other resources available include a medical exam checklist. After these messages, Regions Ground Effect Aircraft looks forward to summer of testing. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name and indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury of what matters most, time. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy. Direct Fly USA proudly introduces the new Alto NG, a single engine, two seat light sport aircraft for the North American market. This simple, all metal aircraft design provides low maintenance cost, easy, comfortable access, and responsive flight controls. Equipped with a Rotax 912 engine and a ballistic parachute, the Alto NG is reliable and safe. Learn more about the Alto NG at directflyusa.com. Welcome back. Regent's Ground Effect aircraft looks forward to summer of testing. Regent has shown off some of their recent Viceroy Sea Glider testing in bits and pieces, highlighting its program's headway in developing electric flight and ground effect. Their first trial Sea Glider was named Paladin and prepped for action as the Regent team loaded it into Narragansett Bay, Rhode Island. Paladin's descent into the water finally ended their first dry phase of testing, capping off, quote, months of rigorous subsystem testing of the critical onboard systems, including motors, batteries, electronics, mechanical systems, and vehicle control software, end quote. Their first outing was fairly mundane from a performance perspective, as they puttered around the bay at a max speed of 16 knots. In March, Regent began its first test flights using a full-scale demonstrator, completing its first on-water test of the prototype with humans on board, kicking off a test campaign that will culminate in the first human sea glider flight mid-year. The Viceroy is their 12-passenger sea glider prototype with a 55-foot-long fuselage and 65-foot wingspan. It's a seldom-seen type of watercraft, taking up the development of ground-effect aircraft from years past. The high-speed Viceroy will be an all-electric flying machine that works between three different regimes of flight. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.